Hallelujah, glory to God. You welcome to Prophetic Intercession with a Mel. It's always an honor, a huge privilege for me each time the Lord gives me a prophetic message and I have to relay it to you. If this is the first time you've seen me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please kindly touch the subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that each time we are live or there is a release of a fresh word, you will not miss out. You never know when God wants to minister to you directly. Please, please take take advantage of this opportunity and become a part of this community god bless you god bless you god bless you they can't believe you didn't they thought you were gonna die they can't believe you are still standing they thought that would be the end because it was carefully calculated it was aimed at taking you out there are people who hurt you and it is not just a coincidence or it, it it doesn't just happen because they are looking out for themselves or because they are looking for they are trying to get a better life for themselves but they are trying to break you with their actions they are strategically hoping to break you with their actions and so they hope to see a specific reaction from you when that happens but they forget to know that our strength does not come from us our strength is in the name of the Lord and our strength comes from the Lord. When we are weak, his strength is made perfect with us. That person left you and thought that would be the end of your life. Probably because they were um, a means of support to you, financial support. They were your only family and they gave you emotional stability. And they thought that leaving you is going to get you devastated. Leaving you is going to kill you. Probably they played a very specific and important role in your life. And they were like a kind of life support to you. And they they thought that leaving you was going to mean your world would crumble. They were actually, they left you and they were actually looking back over their shoulders to see what you become. To see how you break, to see how things turn out for you. But God has kept you. God has sustained you. There is really no one that should glory in our existence. Because our trust and our hope is in the name of the Lord. God can use anyone to provide shelter for us god can use anyone to provide feeding and to provide money to provide comfort to provide emotional support but no one should glory in that because it is just the lord using them and even if they leave your life someone else is going to feed into that spot or god will empower you to weather the storm and go through whatsoever it's coming your way they thought you were gonna die they can't believe you are still standing because god kept you God kept you. God is the one that has been sustaining you that you would not let go and that you would not give up. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? They should be mesmerized wherever they are. They should be in shock, asking themselves what went wrong. How is it that they are still standing? How come I knew this person loved me so much and they relied upon me so much? What's going on? Jesus is going on. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.